Hello, epic viewers from around the multiverse. Prepare to bask in unprecedented glory because today I'm going to be sharing with you my horrible GameStop customer experience. What transpired, you may ask? Without further ado, without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Unfortunately, to my dismay, I made the asinine, regretful decision to um, pre order a game at GameStop. I can't recollect what particular game it was. It was roughly a decade ago. So, at that juncture, during that period, I was roughly 18 to 19 years of age. So, I relinquished $5 that I worked my shell off to earn, and um, I allocated it, I earmarked it towards a pre-order for a lackluster, overpriced, over, overly embellished, overly hyped video game. So, before the game was released, months prior to the game being released, I requested for my pre-order money to be refunded. The clerk refused. He abstained and desisted from refunding my um, pre-order. Is this an encroachment on the law? It most likely is. If a business cannot render goods or services to a customer, then they're obligated to um, refund their money. Furthermore, if I was 17 at that juncture, then um, the contract would have been null and void. You can't contract was a minor, so a verbal agreement is um, nullified and void if it was a minor under, or I should say, based on scribbles on a piece of parchment. So, let's move on. They refused to refund my predator money. And um, I was contemplating what recourse I had. Now, one option would have been to contact GameStop directly, contact their corporate office, file a complaint. But um, in the past, when I contacted them, they would hang up on me. So, as you can see, they have a vested interest in um, maximizing the profitability in the short haul. And disregarding and neglecting their customers in order to maximize the wealth of their shareholders in the short haul. Another option would have been to contact the Department of Consumer Affairs. What they were doing was com completely unscrupulous, immoral, and unethical. They could have filed a complaint with them for them to investigate the dire issue. And um, the latter option was um, to ask someone else for help and ask someone else for aid. So I asked my mother's boyfriend at the time to um, come in and um, see if he could rectify the situation. And um, they didn't want to swindle him. They didn't want to dupe him, you know. He's much older than me, so when someone is older, when someone is more mature, when someone has decades of experience under their belt, when someone's a professional and highly educated, they feel disinclined to um, dupe them, deceive them, and um, they're less likely to defraud them. So he came in. And um, he was far more assertive than I was, you know. I'm cordial, I'm polite. I'm not saying he isn't, per se, but um, I guess you could say he was more, um, he spoke with more conviction than I did at that time. And um, he spoke with more assertiveness and he was older, so they don't want to take the risk of um, retaining my money 
in spite of the fact that they couldn't render the item to me. So after he came in, I believe he was in his 50s at the time, they refunded my money. And at that juncture, I was likely 18 or 19. And I may have been 17, but I highly doubt it. So it's just terrible when a company is disinclined to be consumer centric and um, when they refuse to refund pre-order money in spite of the fact that they're likely obligated to, it's likely compulsory, but if they are going to um, refrain from doing so, then your best remedy is to take recourse. You may want to file a complaint with Consumer Affairs, you may want to call the corporate office even if they hang up on you, and you may want to make a stink about it on social media because if they can't render a good or service to you, then there's no reason why they should retain your money against your own volition, you know? It's an involuntary transaction. When I gave them my money, it was consensual and voluntary, but when I asked to refund my money and they refused, you know, then um, that was an involuntary then it became an involuntary exchange of money on their end because they were unable to render the item to me at that time and um, they couldn't provide me with a good or service then they should have to refund the money but your best recourse may be to contact the credit card company and um, dispute the charge. So it was a nightmarish, dreadful experience and it's anti-consumer oriented. So definitely a horrible experience to partake in and um, I'll never pre-order anything from GameStop in the pending future, nor do I recommend that anyone pre-orders anything from GameStop. You don't want to earmark your harder money into their bank account and you shouldn't support anti-consumer practices, nor should you support unscrupulous behavior, you know? I hope that you found this video to be insightful and fascinating. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.